What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nash and in this short video, I'm going to be giving the class of 2022 that's graduating right now some advice for life after college, especially as you get your first job. I have quite a few friends that are graduating as well and I have a lot of connections on LinkedIn that I made in college that are graduating as well and they're getting their first full-time job offers after college and uh, everyone's excited. So congrats to all of y'all. But I wanted to, you know, give you guys some, you know, kind of like a reality check, right? A lot of people like to tell you things that make you feel good, but nobody ever wants to tell you the truth. Now, one of the biggest things that I've seen with a lot of people that graduate from college and they go into their first job, um, just a little bit of background before I get into that. I graduated from college a few years ago. I think it's about three years now. I've worked in I've worked in finance ever since, worked in consulting for a little bit, and uh, you know I've been able to work as an entry level analyst, and now I work in management where I kind of like so I kind of like have a holistic view, point of view uh, when it comes to you know the people that work in finance, how to kind of like navigate, uh, or if you want to call it climbing the corporate ladder. All right, so if it's your first job, you just graduated from college, and uh, there's some people that graduate with a 4.0 GPA that were top of their class, people that were really, really good at college. Now, I wanna, you wanna make sure that you understand that this is not the same as an entry level position, right? So you might've been the top of your class, but once you start your job, right? No one, no one expects you to be smart. No one expects you to be an expert, okay? So the first thing is you're not that smart, okay? <laughs> and trying to prove that you're smart doesn't do you any good. It's gonna do a lot of harm, right? If you've ever worked as a, as a manager or supervisor or maybe a team lead, right? And you have a bunch of entry-level analysts and you tell them to do something, you're gonna have one of those analysts that are gonna be like, but we should do it this way because the formula does this and this and this. And you're like, just listen to what I'm telling you. So nobody wants to work with analysts like that. So if you are entry level, think of it as freshman year, you are starting over again. Everything you learned in college, forget all of it for the most part. Forget 90% of it. You're never gonna use it for your actual job, never. Maybe the concepts that you learned in college, like in finance, right? You learn uh, you know, the, the, uh, the financial statements, understanding those is important. That, that's information you can use when it comes to uh, working in finance if you're in that position. But at the same time, all the formulas and things like that, forget all of those because there's Microsoft Excel. There's tools that are built to replace those formulas, right? And you also have Google. So my th the first thing is you're not that smart, right? Don't think you have to prove that you're smart. Don't think that because you were top of your class or really, really good at college, you're going to be good at your job. A lot of people that have that mentality of, you know, thinking that, you know, they need to be experts. Um, those are the people that usually quit their jobs. People that usually are not satisfied because, you know, they're trying to apply the things they learned in college into an entry level position that's trying to teach you something else, right? That's telling you, forget everything you learned in college. And I'm going to teach you from scratch how we do things over here. Okay. It's a lot different what they teach in college to how companies are run. Now, <laughs> yes, like I said before, think of this as a, you know, an entry level position. That's a freshman, like your freshman year where you're restarting. You don't know anybody. You don't have any connections. You're trying to learn. You're trying to connect with people and your job should be to learn, learn, learn. Okay. Work the crazy hours, learn, 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 volunteer to do the project that nobody else wants to do. That's how you learn, you know, faster than other analysts that might be at your uh, level. All right. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to remind you guys that there's a difference between being smart in college and being smart at your first entry level job. But I uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.